I'm telling you there's rain in the forecast, which is good news for the region's water utilities. They're on a drought watch as we speak. The lack of rain has renewed focus on the shocking amount of water that we actually waste. Leaks inside of your home can produce astronomical water bills, bills that catch thousands of people by surprise every year. As environmental impact reporter Scott Broom tells us, WSSC Water is trying to raise awareness to stop those leaks. Okay, yes, there it is. It is a giant blow up toilet here at WSSC Water headquarters in Laurel, Maryland, designed to get your attention for a reason. Leaking toilets are by far the number one cause of wasted water and astronomical water bills, according to WSSC Water. How much water is wasted? And that's where WSSC Water engineer James Haldeman steps in with his plexiglass demonstration toilet. So right now the toilet is set up to simulate a small leak. This is typically from a flapper. The flapper is what keeps the water from moving from the top into the bowl. When you flush the toilet, it opens up, water goes out. It's supposed to seal when that's done. But right now you can see there is some water leaking through. We have a, a small crack in that flapper, which is very common. As they get old, they get brittle, and you develop that crack. So if I run our tracker right now, this toilet leak is 141 gallons a day because it's running all the time. It looks small, but it's running 24 hours a day. And it's going to add $73 on top of your monthly bill. If you're on a monthly cycle, it's going to add $220 on top of your quarterly cycle. And it gets worse. In this case, it was a leaky valve. Water cascaded through the toilet. And the three-month water bill jumped to $7,322 with more than a quarter million gallons of water wasted. When we're in a drought condition, we really want to minimize the amount of water that we use. Um, and we certainly don't want to have water running through our toilets uh, if it doesn't need to be. So how do you know if it's happening at your house? Well, that's where these little dye packets come in. Cheap at the hardware store, free if you call WSSC and ask for them. Put them in the tank, and if the water in the bowl turns color in a few moments, you know you've got a leak for a plumber or a DIYer to fix. WSSC says you ought to dye test your toilets every time you change clocks and smoke detectors and stop wasting all that water and all that money. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. All right, very helpful, Scott. Thank you. By the way, you can find more of Scott Broom's environmental reporting right now on WUSA 9+. Plus. It's a free app for Roku, Fire TV, or wherever you stream.